greater concern is not if you're being persecuted, but if you're not being persecuted. If you have almost no persecution in your life and no opposition regarding your faith, then it's time to go deeper. Spend some time with God today and ask some honest questions. Are you afraid to rebuke people? Are people not safe being honest with you? Are you uh, really living out your faith and sharing your faith? Are you actually making disciples? Are you in a world uh, that disagrees with God's word? I'm not saying being obnoxious, but are you stuffing some of his truth and removing it, compromising it so that you fit in? You know, those are questions that might stir up some convictions and what kind of life do you want to live in terms of following Jesus? And if you follow him with all your heart, there will be persecution and it will be intense in some seasons. And the goal is not to avoid it, the goal is not comfort, but instead, during times of persecution, to remember that you're gonna grow in your faith. You can rediscover the joy of those most important relationships. You can support brothers and sisters who are suffering immensely around the world these days. And you can continue to trust God. And even when demons and the devil's involved, you have victory because of the Holy Spirit. You can receive his word and receive encouragement from other people and you will overcome. So don't let persecution uh, instead block you from moving forward with Jesus, but instead just know, yes, this is normal, this is good, and God's word guides me how to walk through this. And so persecution, just like it happened to Jesus, it's gonna happen to his followers. Let's make our focus to be more like Jesus Christ, not to avoid persecution. May God give you great boldness as you live for him.